Hey everyone, it's Alan from Couch Cat. Today we're going to be starting our brand new Simple MMO tutorial series for all the Simple MMO players. Now for the new players, you're probably asking, what exactly is Simple MMO? Well, it's what the title states. It's an MMO that's very simplistic, it's casual, it's social based, it's a great community. And it's an MMO, it's text based, right? You have the web app and the mobile app. So in this tutorial series, you're, we are going to be covering the web app. Uh, and for you old heads who have been with us at CouchCat, you're probably wondering, now why are you guys redoing your Simple MMO tutorial series? Well, there's a couple of reasons, right? So for starters, we've been on hiatus for 8 to 12 months or something like that. It's been a while. So a lot of the game has been updated to include the core mechanics of the game. So we're just going to start fresh. So it's up to date and it's right there so you don't have to go through and, and kind of guess what happened since we, we did our original tutorial series. So without further ado, let's hop into the basics of Simple MMO. Alright, so this is the home page where you when you sign into the web app, this is what will be popped up, right? So this is the overarching look of it. So on your left hand side, you have your menu bar and you could collapse it by doing the hamburger menu or you could bring it back up right so you have home which we're on now home covers the ability to anything that you're doing whether like this I'm working on a job right now you have updates there's an orphanage goal tells you how many players you are online tasks things like that um, then you go down you have your town I'll click on it and we'll cover all these things in depth later on okay but then you have your town, your inventory, which is all your items you have, battling for PvP and PvE, uh, as well as world bosses. You have quests you could do, which are a good uh, uh, way to gain gold in this game. Um, and then you have, of course, your character, which this is where you could customize your character, look at your stats and everything like that. Uh, you could cover jobs, uh, a crafting tasks which are daily, right? So things you could do daily, collections, and then also looking at guilds for that, that community involvement. Now at the top, you have important bars as well. So you have a way to navigate, right? So this is a simplistic way to navigate through any menu that you're currently on. You could hit the home menu and go back to home. Now traveling, the travel button is this core mechanic of the game. This is where you do all your stepping. You have the diamond store where you could purchase and and uh, use your diamonds uh, for different sprites or, or customizations of the game or whatever. You have support, so in case you need help with something, something's gone wrong or, or whatever it may be, you could always contact an advisor or moderator that are online, which is pretty nice because they're always online it seems. Finally, you have your community tab which has discussion boards. You can see all the players that are online. You have leaderboards for all the different aspects of the game, as well as all the upcoming events, which I highly recommend getting into this game before June 10th, because that's when the Gods of Simple MMO event starts. Um, over to the right side here on the top, you have the search bar, so you can search all sorts of things. You have your friends list, which is pretty cool. Uh, you have all your DMs. Uh, and then also you have your notifications here so any type of notifications like everyone's been bullying me and attacking me uh and then finally you just have a quick look up of your your character your profile real fast like this and this is where you can set your settings and stuff like that um that is basically the loadout of of the game it's super simple and easy to navigate through there are some complexities and things hidden within some of the tabs and we'll cover all that in depth later on um, so I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoy the layout of the web app. I can't tell you enough. Oh, forgot one thing. This is your chat. That's this is important to the community involvement, right? You have chat. You have four different chats you can actually join. You have your global chat, which is fun. There's a lot of people on at all times. You have the trade chat to do some trades. You have support. So if you're a new player and you have questions about the game, head over to support and ask some questions. And then of course you have your guild chat. If you're part of a guild then you could uh, chat directly with your guild mates. Uh, I can't tell you this how amazing this web app is compared to previous versions of it. And we'll cover that in another episode, but highly recommend getting into the game. And it, if you have any more questions, let me know.
All right, so let's talk about the core concepts of the game for any newbie, right? So the first one is you have stepping, and that could be accessed through the travel tab here. And this is where you do all your stepping, and you will cover this in detail in a later video, but essentially you get your gold, EXP, mats, you get to meet up with people, their stepping parties, which we've covered in a previous YouTube video, things like that. Then another core concept is the PvP and PvE portion of the game. Now I clicked over to the battle tab and there are there's PvE where you could fight monsters based off of a location. There's PvP where you could just go and fight players. And then you also have your world bosses. There are about 12 to 16, I can't remember what the number is, per week that spawn at random times that you could fight uh, against with everyone in the game who is currently online. So that is awesome. And then you have quests. Quests is how you're going to earn your gold in the game. And we'll cover it again. We'll cover it in further detail. Uh, so you have quests. That's pretty nice. And then you have tasks. Tasks are things that you need to get done every 24 hours in order to earn five diamonds, which are the premium currency. So they're pretty easy to earn, in my opinion. Um, you have a good chance of earning all five or, or getting all five tasks done every day as long as you hop on the game and you know play like maybe an hour or two a day it's not much spread across the entire day right so it's pretty nice uh, and that is pretty much the core concepts of the game right you want to continue to continuously step you want to battle it out PvE PvP to level up you got your quest to make gold uh, and, and your tasks that you need to fulfill to get gold exp as well as those diamonds so it's kind of like the the game loop if you will and there's a bunch of other aspects to it as well uh, but that is the core concept for this game and i can't tell you enough how addicting it can be to, to play this game and get into it uh, and so in later episodes we'll be covering even the the biggest details or excuse me the most amount of details possible so that you guys have an understanding how to min max if you want to or just casually just grind through the game all right guys so this is the first video in the tutorial series there will be countless more probably about 20 to 25 in this series where we'll cover in-depth details of this game uh, but if you enjoyed it please leave a like subscribe we'll be coming out with more of these i promise you uh, if you have any questions or comments leave them down in the comment section and we'll answer them for you and uh, all of our social links are down below in the description, and we'll see you next time. See you.